Let's do this. So, I still don't totally know what I'm doing, but as per the usual, I'll figure it out. Stuffing. Oh boy. So when his butt into place, I mean, I guess this is his butt. It's the bottom, so... Yeah. Do ghosts even have butts? He's got some stubby arms! Ooh! Face pieces are done! I officially declare it... Spoopy season! <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys how to do the magic circle with Sweet Snuggles by Loops and Thread Yarn. I'm going to leave a tail and with three fingers I wrap the yarn around and it's going to go over and then I'm going to hold this side with my pinky. So I'm using an NP10 millimeter hook and it's going to go under and then it's going to grab the yarn, do a little twist and then it's going to grab the yarn over where the pinky is and pull through. So this is your magic circle but you're gonna have to do single uh crochets into here so let's do three here's one and two i'm just gonna do three and three and then you could grab that tail and you pull it and then you don't see that hole and then you continue doing the next round so yeah <laughs> I was finishing up this strawberry bee when I noticed a mistake. Instead of two rows for white, I only did one here. I've been asked before what I do when I make a mistake, and if the mistake is small enough, sometimes I can get away with it and hide it, but unfortunately, this isn't something that I can hide. This means I have to unravel everything. So here you go. Enjoy this video of me unraveling about maybe an hour's worth of work, but it's no biggie. I love crocheting and you guys have given me the opportunity to make this into my full-time job. So much for my degree, huh? Just kidding, I love crocheting and I always saw this as a lifelong hobby that I would have. I put a lot of hours into crocheting and running my business. I think I even work more now than I did when I was a manager working 50 hours a week. But you know what? It's okay. I love doing this and it honestly doesn't even feel like work. And that's all because of you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for your support. I can't even explain how much I appreciate it. I finally finished all my 30 bodies. Here are a bunch of strawberry bees. Here's a bag of yellow bees and strawberries. Another bag full. And some more of the bodies. I finished the wings so now I get attached and now I have all these patterns. What do I do with them? Oops, I accidentally created a false reality where I can never tell. I'm literally gonna do the blueberry beads, but taking me forever. <sighs> Sorry. So I finished the body. It's dark bluish color. <gasps> with white. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> So now I just gotta attach the eyes, the wings, and something to the booty. Blueberry B is alive. He has been born. I gave him some black heart sized cheeks instead of red because I didn't like the color of red. And look, I gave him a blueberry patch on the booty. So, yeah, here he is. Ah! Here's the strawberry bee and the blueberry bee. I'll show you the booties. Strawberry booties. Ah, and a blueberry booty. <laughs> so cute. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <gasps> oh my god! Hi TikTok. So I received a lot of really positive feedback for my jellyfish amigurumi that I posted a little while ago. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all that. Uh, really like your comments and all that make my day. And I also had a lot of people asking if I'd be selling my jellyfish. And I was like, you know what? why not? At first I wasn't sure. I didn't know like where to post it, all that. But I do have an Etsy shop with my sister. We sell our macrame wall hangings and like plant hangers and stuff on there. But I was like, let's just use that and I'll put a listing for the jellyfish. So right now I have um, the three final like or like finished pieces are on there and they're just ready to ship i can send them out whenever and then i also opened up 15 spots for custom jellies and you can pick the colors and if you want to have a little hanger on them or not and then you know they'll be like make as 
as I get the order kind of thing. There's a word for that, but I can't think of it. Um, but yeah, link in bio, check it out. Pan turtles, pan, 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 pan turtles, pan turtles, pan turtles, pan turtles, pan turtles, pan turtles. Hello everyone, today I'll be making a dumpling. Of course, we will start off with a magic circle and then I'm going to increase until I reach 30 stitches all around. Then I did three rows of single crochets without any increases. Time to add in the eyes and sew on the smile. Now it's a good time to stuff the body. Afterwards, I did something called the crown stitch to create the top portion of the dumplings and then I sewed it together. Then I made a leaf for the dumpling and I kind of struggled with it a little bit but then I sewed it onto the dumpling and I also added a keychain with a bell and it came out super adorable. <laughs> 